So this is the SPC uh, rear control arm. Uh, you can see it's really good quality. I mean, for what you're paying, you better get good quality. I went with SPC because I know their quality is really good. You know, I've also heard of Skunk 2, like the bushings wearing out super fast. And really, I just want to buy it once and not worry about it until like a reasonable time. I thought 180 bucks gave you two. Like that's why I justified buying these. But then I realized you have to buy 180 plus another one. So I'm an idiot. And the main reason I'm getting this camber arm is because the rear is not adjustable. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of negative camber when you lower these cars. And it puts uneven wear on the tire. Let's just take the factory ones out and install these brand new super nice camber arms. actually a pretty easy installation this is it it's just the camber arm so pretty straightforward um i don't know if i have to drop the suspension or anything but we'll find out and this is supposed to be the harder side because axle back part of the exhaust gets in the way and i heard that the, um the sway bar gets in the way but really i don't think it'll be that bad crossing my fingers Now we gotta get into these bolts. Kinda hard to see. So here's the two arms side by side. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure right here. It's right here. I'm just gonna eyeball it because I'm gonna need an alignment anyways. I just wanna get as close as possible. Way. So this tip to there. So let's put this thing in the car. So those bolts go to 47 pound feet. Now all I'm going to do is loosen this 5 mil, and then, so then this can actually rotate because right now it's straight and it's going to put a lot of bind on that bushing. So here's my before and after alignment sheet. So this is before, this is after. 
And as you can see, the biggest changes are tow and camber. And pretty much that's what happens when you lower these cars. And since there is no adjustable rear camber arm, uh, that camber just stays the same unless you get that SPC control arm or something like that. Yeah, so before it was 3.3, 3.1, and now I have negative uh, 1.4. And I still have a little bit of toe in the rear. Uh, really, I just like having that toe because so it's to help with driving characteristics, I guess.